Back here at home, the election is over and Governor Lamont is making changes in his administration. Lamont's chief of staff, Paul Mounds, is leaving and so is the governor's general counsel, Nora Dennehy. Chief political reporter Susan Rath is live now at the state capitol where the governor talked about his new transition team. Susan? Good afternoon, Kara. It is not unusual for a governor when they win a new term to make some changes within their administration. And today here at the state capitol, Governor Lamont made some changes. He gathered people here to talk about who's leaving and who's coming. As you mentioned, Nora Danahy has been Governor Lamont's general counsel. She is leaving. She will be replaced by Natalie Braswell. Another announcement today, the governor's chief of staff, Paul Mounds. He's been with the governor for all four terms. Mounds will be replaced by Johnny Dock. Here's what Mounds had to say about his departure. I told him that I, I'm ready and I'm going to serve throughout the whole uh, the rest of the administration. And then when we get done, we'll, we'll have a conversation and we'll talk. And we did. But here's the one thing that I know. I, I know I'm leaving this in good hands. Why? Because this is an amazing governor. This is the best governor in, in the nation. Before serving in the Lamont administration, Paul Mounds was also with the former governor, Daniel Malloy, for five years. No plans or no announcement today on where Mounds will eventually land, but he said this is a good time for him to make a change. We also asked Governor Lamont today about calls for a special session. As we reported yesterday, both Republicans and Democrats seem to be on board with extending the gas tax suspension, which is supposed to expire or end at the end of this month. The governor said today he is still talking with both legislative leaders, but said he would be uh, on board with calling a special session to extend that gas tax as well as free bus service. We are live at the state capitol, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.